Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So in today's video, we'll be using the following products. That was 44, the white, 121. These are all the Ugly Duckling gel polishes, which I'm absolutely loving at the minute. 22 is the lilac. Purple, 168. Nice shimmery ones, 018. As you can tell, these don't have names, it's just numbers for them. And that's 017. I'll be using these beautiful little cosmic uh, stars, uh, little holographics from Nail Sugar. My Natalie Mugridge Detailer Brush, which I absolutely love. And some decals, these are from Queen of Decals. So let's get started with the design. On this nail, I'm just going in with a coat of the white gel polish. And as you can see, I'm using the extreme length tips today. Um, this design, because it flows through the decals, it's a flowing design. I just thought they might look better on, you know, the larger tips. So I'm just going to do a little mark out where I actually want them to sit on the nail, just just so as I know that where the you know the others are going to go. So if we get the first one in place, which is about there, then we'll be good to go. I've applied a layer of the Bloomin' Gel and now we're just going to go in with all the colours we chose um, and I think these go really nice, they really complement the design, they work well together. This glitter one's so pretty, honestly it's so nice, I've used it on lots of the designs now, I absolutely love it. So I'll just keep working these colours down the nail and I'm going to stop where I place my little markers. Just so when I add the decal, it's not, you know, it's not going to end up looking too bulky. It'll sit nicer. So now onto the bottom part. So I'll just uh, keep playing about with this. And as you can see, I do faff about quite a bit. But anyway, once you're happy with it, then we can just get on to putting the decal on it then. So I've just had it soaking in water, just, just about 30 seconds to a minute. And now I'm just picking it up and applying it with my tweezers. Uh, it is a little bit awkward. I should have really got some cling film, I think. So yeah, not a good idea going in with your fingers, but there you go. I think I actually used the form paper on the next one anyway, so went on a little bit better. Now I'm just going in with these gorgeous little cosmic stars. I absolutely love these. And don't forget, if you want a little discount on any nail sugar products, I'll put the details in the description box below for you with all the other products. Once I've finished applying these, I'll um, cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then I'll go over with some top coat. And once that's done, I'm just going to go in with the file, not too much, just to, you know, get rid of any little uh, bits, you know, that I've not sat down properly at the edges. And I always like to apply two coats of the top coat, so that's what I'm doing now, just going in with the second coat, and then we'll cure that. And onto this nail, so I've gone in with the white couldn't even think then <laughs> now i'm going over with the bloom and gel then i'm just aligning these up just for the placement see where i want it to go and there we go trying to do it again with my fingers and think oh maybe i should use something else so i am just going to get the form paper now and just smooth it over a little touch And that's made the difference, see, it looks a lot neater. I'm just adding a little bit more of the bloom and gel because I felt half of it had come off, you know, when I put the form paper over. So again, we're just applying the colours 
just popping them where you want them just you know random design again uh, so long as they're blending in nicely with the design then i'm happy with that i absolutely love that glitter one though i think i put that on quite uh, quite a bit <laughs> the more you get to know me the more you'll realize that i just absolutely love glitter i think it's very very rare i do a design that hasn't got glitter on but you know that's just my thing and if it's not glitter then it's normally crystals and sometimes both so the trouble I found with doing the extreme length, as you can see there by my fingers, it's starting to bleed quite a bit. I think if I was to do them again, I would do them, you know, in two sections, you know, rather than just going ahead with the full nail. But that's what it's all about learning as we go. So I'll know for next time. And now I'm just going back to the first nail. I just wanted to frame around the... Um, the picture really I felt like it was a little bit lost in the design so I'm just going in with some white gel polish and popping that around the sides I also go in with the lilac as well and I just do the same on the other nail using the white and the black I find on the decal sometimes you lose the design a little so I'm just going in to highlight some areas that I want uh, I've already done the eyes and the lips now I'm just giving her some nice brows and just highlight those little white dots under the eyes. And onto the next nail. So I'm going in with a dark blue. Um, I think, yeah, this is a Nao's. I'll pop the colour in the description. I've not made a note of this one. I only decided to use it at the last minute so we'll get a full coverage on that we'll cure that one then once it's all cured I've already applied the decal so there you can see that blends in nice that's why I wanted the blue because it just makes the flow and hair stand out a little more so I'm just going in with the bloom and gel again and then I'll start applying the colours. So I'll just let you watch this one for a little bit. And now I'm just adding some pixie dust also from Nail Sugar. I just wanted to, you know, give this one a little bit of a lift with it being a, you know, a darker nail. I think it looks really nice. The glitter it does make a difference. So um, I'll start going in again, um, just highlighting here some of the detail. That first line's a bit too thick, so we do take that down a little. So just makes it stand out a little bit more, really. That's one of the good things about the decals, because if you're not really confident or that good at freehand, you can just use this as a little template, you know, just to practice your fine lines, which is really good. And now I'm just going to go over these, just highlight them a little bit, give a little bit more dimension to the nail. And I'll just add a few of the little cosmic stars. They really make a difference, they're so shiny, look at that, gorgeous, absolutely love them. So now I'll just apply a layer of top coat. I'll cure that and then I will apply a second coat and that's that one complete. And now we're on to the last nail. 
So on this one, I've gone in with a layer of the white, I'm just adding the bloom and gel. And where that little gap is at the side, I'm going to fill that in with some uh, <laughs> black gel polish from Neo Nails. And then we start the process again, just adding your colours randomly until you're happy with your design. And while you're watching this, I'll just give a little mention for our amazing joint giveaway with the lovely Kelly from Chronically Creative Nails. And it's all being generously sponsored by the lovely Karen Heidi Reese from Nail Sugar. So good luck to everyone with that giveaway. It really is a beautiful giveaway. Lots of gorgeous nail sugar glitters. They're, they're just absolutely stunning. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I've absolutely loved creating this set. Uh, the colours are gorgeous and who doesn't like Cosmic Girl? I'd absolutely love it if you could like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my next videos. So again, hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and see you next time. Bye.